By far, the best way to troubleshoot Windows problems is using the Event Viewer. Most times, the solution will be right there, staring at you and hoping to get noticed. When you have a problem to solve on another computer on your network, you could always disturb the user's work, remote control their computer and activate Event Viewer on it to look for the solution. This would be consuming your time as well as the user's. But please, allow me to show you an alternative. This solution is implemented on your computer and allows you to view the Event Viewer on a remote computer without interrupting the user on that computer. They can continue working and will not even know that you solved their problem. Open this website, the link is in the video description below, and click the download button to download and install the Event Log Explorer. Enter the required information here. Choose either Home or Business. Note that the Home version is free for personal use. Check this and click here. Then click here to start the download and copy this key. You will need to use it to activate the application once it's installed. Open the file from the download section here to start the installation. Accepting the license agreement is always important and this time it's also essential to proceed with the installation. Accept it and proceed. Choose a location for the installation or just use the default and click next. No one ever changes this anyway. Choose its name in the start menu and click next. This will create a shortcut on your desktop. Click next to proceed. Nothing to see here. Click install to finally initiate the actual installation process. Choose to launch the application from here or from your desktop and click finish. Choose to enter a license key and click OK. Paste the license key here and click OK. Now you need to restart the application in its licensed mode. Click OK to run it again using the shortcut. Please subscribe. Your local computer appears here by default. You can delete it from the list if you intend to connect to a remote computer. To remove it, just click it, then click here and click yes. Now you can connect to the other computer and start working. Click here to start the connection. Choose another computer and either type its name or browse the local network by clicking here. And then click OK. Double click the computer to see all the available logs. The numbers indicate the number of events in each log. Double click a log to open a tab with its information. So what now? Well, now comes the easy part. Clicking on each event in the log, in addition to the information displayed in each of these columns, will also show additional information here. Right clicking any event will show multiple options. For example, if you click this information event, in addition to all these options, you could choose only information events in this log, or hide all the information events. This will leave the events that are either errors or warnings. From here, you could either use the timestamp of the error or the type to find and eventually solve the problem. As you can see, each log opens in a separate tab and does not affect the filter you set in a previous log. Of course, we all love to have a choice. And this is no different. There are many to choose from. Right-clicking any other column will adjust the filter based on that specific information and will allow you to see only the results you actually need in order to make a quick resolution to the computer problem you are facing. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you know of a better tool to do that? And remember that the decision to watch this video next would be the correct one.